Whether you're brand new to Destiny 2 or simply coming back after a long hiatus, the first question you should ask is how does Zer work today? Because the answer to that question has changed so much over the years, it's important to note that this video will eventually become out of date. In the event that they update how he works in the future, I'm going to make a brand new video about all that new information, and I'm going to link that video up here at the top right of your screen in the info cards, as well as in the end screen of the video, the description below, and the pinned comment down below as well. So if you don't see any of these things, that means that this is still the most current video of all the information about Zer. This may come as a surprise to some, but Zer is not here 24-7. He's only here four days out of the week. He comes into the game and appears on Friday at 10 a.m. Pacific, 1 p.m. Eastern, and stays until the weekly reset on Tuesday at the same time of day. That is 10 a.m. Pacific, 1 p.m. Eastern. For those who were not previously aware of what Zer does or sells, he sells you exotics, up to four different exotics each week. One weapon and one piece of armor from each of the three classes, Titan, Hunter, and Warlock. He also has some other features like carrying the Nightfall card for your regular Nightfalls, and if you haven't done your Invitations of the Nine yet, he also has those as well. He also has, in addition to his four known exotics in his inventory, a Faded Engram that has a chance of giving you something you don't already have. In fact, it actually defaults to what you don't already have first, and then once you have everything, it gives you a reroll of something else that you already have in your collections. This is by far the easiest way of getting some of the newer exotics out there. I managed to get all three of this season's brand new exotics through Zer's Faded Engram on each of my characters each week so far. And so with that, we're also going to get into his potential loot pool, which for the Faded Engrams is any non-quest, non-raid exotic. So as long as it can come from a normal world drop engram, it can drop from that Faded Engram as well. These same exotics can also be in his inventory that he sells you directly as well too. So as long as it wasn't from a quest or a raid, you should be able to at least at some point get it from Zer. His location does change each week, and it is random amongst five predetermined locations that he is allowed to spawn in. If you're watching this on a Friday and just want to hear where Zer is right now, I'm probably live right this moment on this channel showing exactly that. If instead you want to learn all possible Zer locations, then the rest of this video is for you. The first location, as I'm showing you here, is the Tower Hangar. If you go into the courtyard like you have to, and you go towards St. 14 and Amanda Holiday, and you turn left, you're going to go up this catwalk you're seeing here, and you're going to find Zer right here on the catwalk. In the EDZ, he's allowed to spawn in the Winding Cove. Look for a skiff on a cliff, and you're probably going to find him there if he's there for the week. Now, if you take this track that you see me taking here, you will still get to the very top of the cliff. However, you can also take the cave on the inside as well. I just prefer to take this one instead. On Titan, his spawn location is a little bit tricky to find because it's not out in the open where it's easy to just see from a distance. You're going to have to go below deck as you're going to see here in a second. If you follow this exact track, you will find him. Just remember to go below deck after you get off your sparrow. On Nessus, his spawn point has actually changed only a little bit, and that is going from the tree next to the barge to being on the barge itself. Once you get onto the barge, you're going to follow the track that I'm going on here. He's literally on the very top deck of the ship. Once you're on it, you really can't miss him, so he's pretty easy to find nowadays. His IO spawn point is also a bit tricky to find because it's in a cave. It's not out in the open either. So if you go down this track here in the giant scar, you're going to come upon a cave and you're going to want to go into the very back and to the right behind a pillar. You're going to find him sitting there if he's there for that week. Hopefully that helps. If it did, or if you simply have a question I didn't answer in the video, go ahead and let me know in the comment section down below and I'll get to it as soon as I can. 